Generally, a centre line is the term used to define the centre of a part of a structure, also referred to as the midpoint perimeter on plan length. It's used mainly in conjunction with the measurement of substructures and external walls. We're going to refer to this plan of the foundation. Very simple plan, 1500 or 15,000 millimetres by 4,000 millimetres. Adding this together, these two figures together and multiplying by two, we get our overall internal girth. From this, and from the fact that we know the width of the foundation, we can actually work the centre line of the foundation and also get the internal girth using a very simple formula. We'd also like to pay attention to what we do with detail A here on the corner adjustment. So detail A. W is the width of the trench. In this particular instance, 600 mil for our foundation. In order to get the center of the trench, we need to move from the internal girth across to the center. We also need to make adjustments at each corner. If you look carefully, you'll see there's one, two adjustments at each corner. In a regular shape, we have four external corners. In this particular irregular shape that we're going to use, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven external corners, three internal corners, and we also have what we like to class as a re-entry. So an irregular shape still has four net external adjustments because we have seven externals, three in, and four net adjustments as a result. So seven minus three giving us our four. Irrespective of whether it was seven, six, nine, or otherwise, you'd find that the internal corners are always cancelled out by the sum of the external corners. Using the center line formula itself, we will always work on the left-hand side of the description, or sorry, right-hand side of the, the description column as noted here, the right hand side. This is known as a waste calculation. We use the corner adjustment formula, or also known as the center line formula, four by two by a half times W, where four is the number of corners, two is the number of adjustments at each corner, a half times is, as it says, a half times, W, the width of the foundation, or the thickness of the, the uh, medium which we are, we are passing through. So as we said earlier on, 38,000 is our internal girth based on the dimensions that we have. We add the center line calculation, 4 times 2 times a half times W, which is 600 on our earlier plan, to give us a total of 40.4 meters. If we wanted to get to the external girth, we can actually add the center line calc again, the 2,400, to give us the external girth. Alternatively, if you want to jump from the external or from the internal to the external, we go by four times two times W, which brings us through the full width of the medium. We spoke about the re-entry there briefly. So the re-entry calculation is done in the same manner. We would do our normal girth calculation and add the re-entries and then utilize our four by two by a half times W. So use the internal girth and add twice the length of the re-entry. There may be multiple re-entries, so we need to be careful that we take into account all of these. In this particular case, there was only one, and it was twice times 1,000. Once this is complete, use the center line formula, add or subtract the formula as required. When working with the internal girth and working towards the external girth, you add the result of the formula. So we'd have the internal girth plus the four times, two times, a half times. However, if we were working from the external girth towards the internal, we need to subtract this. This is because the internal girths are always less than the external girths. Center lines in section. We have to get used to looking at center line and uh, on a sectional basis. So we've seen it on plan with our foundation, but all we saw on that foundation plan was the plan of this particular element of the drawing. However, within a substructure, there are usually brickwork, blockwork, filling on the external face and the internal face. The red line here represents the center line of the wall itself. The green line is representing the center line of the external concrete overhang, and the blue line represents the center line of the internal concrete overhang. We can use a variant of these calculations to find the center line of the internal and external leaves of the wall, and these calculations can be recycled during the course, or course of measuring the structure as long as they are annotated correctly. 